Welcome back to Silver Run on Farming Simulator 22 Platinum Edition for episode 3 with me, Mr. Siri B. It's just gone 8 o'clock in the morning. We are into September 1. As you've seen, I've been busy. I have to say, it's um, quite prolific, the logging industry around the area. So, log deliveries have been pretty good. We're up to 49,544. Last night, I went and found the local watering hole to have a chat with the locals and uh, get a lay of the land, really. What I have discovered from those conversations the roller coaster was in the process of being refurbished and rebuilt when the company responsible for it went bankrupt. A new company has been employed, but they need somebody to provide resources, which I think I might be able to do. The other thing I talked about was the um, the carvings. A local woodsmith, woodcarver, whittler, um, produced those a while ago and they were put into the museum. However, a group of um, anti-logging activists came stole them all took them out into the wilderness and took them back to where they belong and put them back into nature the gallery wants them back and they're prepared to pay handsomely for that i believe i should do it it's my civic duty plus they're paying a handsome reward for any we find i did mention that when i went out to get my permit there was a ladder up against the fire station fire department and whenever there's a ladder going to a roof it's always you know I haven't been to check actually, but <laughs> I'll probably be really disappointed if there's nothing there. We are at a point though, I'm going to sell the John Deere. Because, this is looking a bit dirty, I don't know what we're going to get for it, but we are going to sell it. I have been offered a vehicle. It's probably already in the thumbnail. We are getting organised. I'm going to be going up to the mine, we're going to be getting some ore, and we're going to be delivering it to the metalworks. Uh, I'm going to get the vehicle that we're going to use for pulling this because I've, I've got, like I said, I've got a lot of money tied up in this, which if I can free it up, it's going to work. Now I said right from the outset, this was not going to be a necessary a start from scratch, claw my way up. This was going to be, I want to experience everything on the map. So how I go about making the money, how I get it, I'm not going to cheat money in, but whatever's here on the map and is available, I'm going to kind of go with. Now I can't remember... Um, what are they offering? Oh, okay. That's almost double what I paid for it. Um. Okay. With what I've already made, that's pretty good. Um, I do want to buy the sawmill. That um, the old sawmill up north because we do need to start producing stuff the other thing i said i was going to do at some point i'm going to get a deadwood contract and this time i'm going to put the deadwood onto a trailer take it up to the north sawmill once i own it and i'm going to put some stuff in through the wood chipper there to see if we can get a decent amount of wood chips from it if i do that and we can't then the deadwood contracts yeah we'll see there's got to be something they're useful for if it's just wood chipping that's fine i don't know what we use the wood chips for in all honesty but um we can kind of do that so yeah up at the service station garage up to the north as well 
is where the vehicle that I have... I've already perused it. I've had a look. Um, and I think I'm going to buy it. So I'll head up there. We'll pay for it. We'll bring it back. And then we're going to head over to the mine. I'm going to grab the Land Rover. Always up to the mine. I have been reliably informed there are vehicles and machinery that I can use up there. Size-wise, I might decide I'm going to go bigger. Actually, I don't know how much ore there's going to be up there. So we'll see what we get up there. I will see you up at the... The northern petrol station, gas station. Momentary. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out to. I'm going to try the fire station. I'm. There has to be something up there. I'm keeping an eye out. In the wilderness, in the woodlands. I haven't seen any others yet. Although I did, as I was going past one of the lakes. Was it along the main road? I thought I saw one. Now, any money I make, if I do collect any, no, that's the gallery, that's not it. Any money I make from collecting these will go towards buying production chains or buying equipment to get the resources for the, um, well, either the boatyard for boat building or the roller coaster. Um, so that's, the, that's what it's all going to go towards. Oh, what's the ladder? It's around here somewhere, wasn't it? There we go. I keep thinking of trying all of the various locations that seem obvious. There it is. Look at that. Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting 50 grand. I, I'm not, not one either, because one when you've got more collectibles, but 50,000. Wow, I knew it paid well. I thought it was like 20. Okay. Plenty of money now. That's good. Right. Uh, where am I going? Oh yeah, north. Now I'm just going to keep looking for everything. Keep your eye out for ladders. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe up at the mine, maybe there might be. It's locations around the map where you think there might be some. I know it did say that um, some of them are going to be really difficult to find. I don't doubt that at all. I'm up at the North Gas Station. While I'm up here, probably doesn't hurt to have a look in case there's any uh, any carvings lurking around. I wouldn't actually, I just thought I walked up past the little lake bit there. I should have had a look. It didn't even dawn on me. I think I've got enough. I'm trying to think how much is the North Sawmill? I want to say 250 grand. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, the lorry we have purchased. Sounds like the Waffle Hut's busy. He's over here. We've got a cab over. TLX 9000. It's got plenty of oomph to it. USA Logger. Nice. Got some slightly off-road tyres on it. So we should be alright for the tracks. This will... Because it's got a rear trailer hitch as well. So this will be able to pull the trailers we've got already. In, my whole log train. And it shouldn't be too much of a problem plus we've got the advantage now of having a fifth wheel so if we want to um, moving forward buy a proper like a full log trailer the problem i've got is if i want to take the skid steer loader with me i want to get a log trailer with a trailer hitch if i can if i can't it's not the end of the world i'll just take this up and take that up separately you know it's what i generally do or i don't know how it'll work if i could hire you know if we could get some local work Maybe a worker, someone to help me for transportation of equipment, maybe. Maybe, let's hop in. Start it up. Whoa, okay. That's nice. Uh, we've got... I, what's it got here? Strobes or classics? Strobes, okay. This, as far as I'm aware, has quite a ludicrous top speed, so what I'm going to do is drop that down on the old cruise control. Something a bit more comfortable, because that's a bit fast. 
Yeah, see, I thought down here somewhere, when I drove past I'd seen something. Or oh, maybe I imagined it. Is it there? Maybe not. I'll have to do a bit more searching. Like I said, I'm not going to go out of my way to find stuff, but if I come across things, or I see a ladder to a roof, or somewhere where I've gone to deliver something anyway, I might think, oh, actually, you know what? Let's have a look. So... Something I do need to check, although it does have a rear trailer, there's absolutely no reason to why this wouldn't work. Now, this is obviously quite a bit longer than the, the uh, John Deere was, but this has really got a bit of grunt about it. I think I went for the highest horsepower. I think on this one it's about it's about 2,000 horsepower or something crazy. So if we've got this and we're towing two of those and that, and those are full, I don't want to be lacking in horsepower, you know. Very happy. That was 150, 149,000 I think it was, all in. Now I haven't got any more contracts, I don't think I've got any more contracts available for... Got a couple of deadwood ones, cultivating, fertilising on farmland. A couple of rock removal. Actually, is it worth me... I'm going to grab one of those. And the other thing we can do while we're here, let's go down to our skids to loaders, because we don't own one yet, but it wouldn't hurt to have one, is... That's the Paladin SFB750. Hydraulic breaker. It's nine grand, but we'll make that back in a few rock breaking uh, jobs. And of course, if I start to clear land and I've got any um, that needs to be cleared, that's perfect. So let's buy that. What we can do is collect that, hopefully, I think that strap's down. We can put that on the front of here, strap it down. And then we're good to go. Right, I'm going to whiz up, grab the Land Rover. We're now going to head up to the mine. I suppose I could take this. Uh, go Land Rover, I think. Whiz up to the mine, check on the equipment. Well, I'll do at least one load with the gear that's up there. I'm not entirely sure what the capacity is of the small... I've been told there's a Volvo with a bucket. And one with a, a back on it. I don't I can't remember what the capacity is on either of them. I will carry on logging my own log site, but that's going to be more. Now we've sold the John Deere, we've got a bit of money to, pl say, to play with. But once we've bought the North Sawmill, any lumber I do here will go off um, to the sawmill for preparation of equipment. I want to get some iron ore going first. I can also then clear the deadwood. I've got a few offcuts here from trees that can be wood chipped, and that's my measuring stick. Next big purchase. Uh, I don't know when that's going to be. I'm just trying to think financially. No, it won't give me enough. Um, if we want to buy the sawmill, I don't, don't want to move that, do I? Um, we'll be a tree harvester. Um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to spend. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten episodes getting to a point where I can buy a big piece of machinery. I want to get some machinery, get some gear so I can get processing faster, so we can get a load more of this stuff done. Um, that's the plan. Let's grab that. So, we'll go, um, I don't know, we'll just, we'll work our way there, we'll, we'll pick a route, I'm not going to go on the main road, might as well use the land road for what it's intended. My only intention on this episode, in my head, was to get a few more of the delivery, wood delivery contracts done, get a bit of money, check the fire station for the, um, um, collectibles and then go to the mine deliver some more that, that that's what I kind of had in my head oh yeah I was going to sell the, the John Deere and buy something I did spend quite a bit of time deliberating over what I was going to buy that became available so that's what we went for. actually I don't know 
Why am I being such a square and sticking to the roads? Oh, we missed the turn. Yeah. I'm not even sure I've gone the right way here. I'm going kind of by memory. That's for the rock crushing. Where am I now? I've gone up completely the wrong river. Hang on, where's I? Oh, I crossed there. In my head, I was there. I've gone completely the wrong way. So what I want to do now is up onto there, cross over. We'll get there. A minor wrong turning, but never mind. We get to enjoy some of the map. Again, do I go a bit more adventurous? I don't want to just disappear off a cliff edge, that's the thing. How steep does this get? I have got hill descent control, I think. Yeah, I think we're going the right way now. Oh dear, slight detour. I took the other way on the map top, I remember. Probably. Here we go. We made it. Oh, well, there is quite a bit of ore there. Look at that. Right, so like I say, um, that's going to be a thousand, isn't it? It's got to be something like that. This, oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I want to say 5,000 or is it 8,000? This is going to be quite slow as well, that's what I mean. It, it depends of course if you have the iron furnace placed. If you have got the iron furnace placed, it depends where you've placed it. <laughs> it depends where in your locale it is. Mine? I didn't think this through, did I? I picked a location, I thought, oh that'd be cool. Yeah, let's, let's go. But, We'll see, lights. 1016. It's a weird amount. But at least with the first load delivered, we can get some metal being produced. Not that I'm necessarily going to need it yet, but like I say, we're going to need to then move on to getting the sawmill sorted. And now I'm going to need to do some lumber because I'm going to need to get something up there so that we can produce. That's weird. What was the first one, 1,016? Oh, again. I need to also, actually, while I'm here, let's have a look at the map. So we're here. The best route... Um, down from the mine, either way, cross the bridge, follow that one up maybe, up to that road there, yeah, I think that's the way we need to go. I wonder if I could see, if I can set the wall up. Quite handy, wouldn't it? I 
think it's going to be more than 5,000 litres. Lost track, is that four? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to need to either... And I can continue with the 1,000 litre bucket, but if I get a bigger trailer, it's going to be quite a lot of time doing it. But at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. If I get another... or well, another... If I buy a trailer, it can either be a semi-trailer... I don't have access to this land. We fall. Yeah, so it can either be with my lorry or something my lorry can tow. Or on a fairly decent capacity but at not a bad price. Don't want much, do I? I was thinking of one of the uh, possibly Rowley Christie. Which one was it? Is it the 70? What's it called? I'm going to have to, another one of these, I'm going to have to, have to spend a bit of time because this I hadn't thought of until now, but. The Trans 70 is 36 grand for 70,000 litre capacity. That can then be towed by, well, I mean, I would tow it by the lorry probably, but I'll maybe have a look. That's a bit more expensive, isn't it? I could go down that. It's a big jump up straight away, though, isn't it? We could do, though. 83,000 litres. I'm just trying to think what else I would need to be delivering. Do I need to 83,000 litres of anything at the moment? Probably not. Maybe I'll have a look. Again, back to the brochures. We'll have a look and see what's available. I might pick something else. Yeah. What's this got in it? 5,400. It wasn't 8,000. A little bit more than five. So, have I worked out a route? <laughs> this goes top speed of 16. Bearing in mind, we've got some hills to do. I uh, want to go... I shouldn't go around over there, can I? So some of the steep hills, this is going to be fun. Which is why I'm thinking we need to sort of sw sw swatch it, switch it, or swap it. Just... What was in there? I thought there was a route that came up. Oh yeah, it's here. That one goes all the way around, this one goes this way, obviously this one goes this way. I think they both come out in the same place. It's just me. Or, I mean, I've played on different maps. Carmsden, I adored. I just thought that map was just, it's a beautiful map. Absolutely brilliant. But I'm just enjoying, there's a few things I've been doing, I've been doing the log deliveries and stuff. I've just been enjoying driving around on this one. <laughs> just driving around the map. Is cool anyway. Something did say. I didn't come and look in here when I did the map tour. Probably should have done. No way. That's massive. Is that. That is a collectible, isn't it? I'm just wondering now whether we'll have enough to get the boatyard. Can we go down there? It is. Okay, well that's two collected. Well, it's worth having a look at it, isn't it? That's pretty cool though. Right. Sidetracked again. But it does also give me some options because I'm going to need to purchase some of the production chains in town as well, aren't I, I think? Plus, if I'm going to, I'm going to need to buy some land to do sheep for fabric if I'm going to do boat building I'm going to need to do that first but yeah I need to do one thing at a time sawmill get that going first planks wood beams all those bits and bobs I'm trying to think oh, do I need planks for anything at the moment Oh, 
more so getting a bigger trailer. I would be doing my bit for the environment. I could do, you know, 10 trips backwards and forwards with this, using fuel and that kind of stuff, or load up one trailer and do one journey using a 2,000 horsepower lorry. <laughs> I'm not quite sure which one of those works out better, but... make another mistake in the direction but let's plump for this one. It's heading uphill which I think is where we need to go. No don't don't do this. Okay. I'll uh, this is another reason why I'm probably getting a trailer that I can pause something else because this journey is going to take a while. I'll see you a bit further along the route in a little while. Maybe a long while. Okay, we're a bit further along. The hills <laughs> have proof. Why is there no crawler lane here? That's what I'll do. I'll be nice. Look, let's move over and let the traffic go past. I'm only going 16 at the best of times, and this is not the best of times. Come on, I reckon we go past. I know you're back there somewhere. So, like I said, a bit of a journey to get to the Iron Furnace. The right gear, I mean this is the right gear, it's just slow, it's just small capacity and takes a while, that's all. If you've got plenty of time, nothing to worry about. I reckon my brain's, where am I going to put sheep? Where is there a plot? Oh I suppose, oh I didn't buy it, did I? When I bought my land I didn't buy the flat piece. I'm just wondering if there's a little area I could clear myself rather than buy a new plot of land. But I'm going to need grass, aren't I? So what I need is the grass for, but then I'm going to need mowers and stuff to go with it. I miss my turn. Oh, here it is. That being said, just look at this now thinking, larger machinery, I might have a bit of trouble here getting in and out. I suppose what we could do, I'm just thinking moving forward, little bridge over here maybe, little bridge, clear some, get some bulldozers and gear in and clear a road up maybe, I don't know. go. Four thousand nine hundred seventy-two. I bought five thousand four hundred. 
hundred liters. Have I lost it already? Why is there still so many? Weird. I'm sure it's here. Oh, there we go. 5,400 litres in. Let's get producing, shall we? Get some metal underway. Like I say, I don't necessarily need it yet, or just yet, but it doesn't hurt to get the process going, because if it takes a while to build up a head of steam, nothing's happening. There we go. One litre. So I'm going to go back and grab. Do I grab another load until I get a trailer now? How frustrating is this going to become? And also, do I need. To, you know, I haven't checked today uh, under here. Is there anything available on used vehicle sales? No. Oh. I suppose I could take. If I buy a slightly larger bucket my skid steer loader, I could take that up there and I could load with that, I'm just thinking a larger trailer with a larger bucket for the time being that's what I own I could probably do that, couldn't I? I'm going to head back with this I might do another load with this and then have a think about, because I want to get some more ore delivered I'll have a look at trailers available. I'll probably end up going for that Trans 70, I think. But I know there's some other... Yeah, I never think. Right, I have gone for a trailer. I've gone for a 20-foot gooseneck tipper with extension... No, not moving. Why with a vehicle with 2,000 horsepower can we not go up a hill? That doesn't make any sense at all. This is going to be a problem. Anyway, as I was saying, extension and ramps so I can put the skid steel loader in it. I've got, um, from the CSZ pack, I've got an attacher, skid to loader to front loader, and I've got a 2,000 litre bucket. Now, with 2,000 litres of ore in that, it might be too heavy. We'll have to see. Assuming, of course, we can even get to the top of the hill. This is very peculiar. Accelerate. Just needed a run up, I guess. We're okay now. Assume we can get through the gap. Yeah, the um, the tipper is 30,000 litres with the extension, so not crazy. Not an unreal capacity of 200,000 or anything like that, just 30,000 litres. And then what we can do is hopefully put 30,000 litres into it, get that over there in one hit. And if I bring that back, I could always put the skids to loader and probably the landy, the landy fit in here to take the whole lot back maybe, we'll see how that goes, it might work that's what we should be able to do, hopefully uh, if I swing around actually weird how sometimes that gets bogged down. I wasn't expecting that. Enough to get around there. Go wide enough. There we go. Now the reach on the teleskid should be okay, but like I say, I'm, I'm just curious as to whether or not it might be too heavy. So if we open that up with the ramps as well, Oh, disable camera collision. 
how I miss you. Uh, right, let's drop in this. Actually, not what I need to do. Disconnect it so it sits flatter. So the ramps touch the floor. There we go. We're about to find out. The standard um, uh, teleskid bucket from CSZ is, or the wheel loader one, is 1,500. That's only 1,000, but that said, I don't know if this one would reach. Try that because we've got 1,000 in it. Maybe it will. Oh, yeah, should do. I suppose what I probably need to do is close the back, though. And then what I'll do is I'll take this over. I might do another one. Well, depends how much is in the pile, actually. I'll take this over. And then we'll um, unload it. I might do another load off camera if, we, if we've got more than 30,000 litres there. I don't know if we will have. And then what I'll do is I'll grab the hydraulic breaker. We'll grab a trailer and we'll whiz out. And I'll, I'll make a start on doing some of the rocks for that braking contract. But I think we're making pretty good inroads. Oh, well, I was going to whiz up and get the sawmill, wasn't I? Should I do that start the next episode? Maybe the start the next episode. And then we'll get some lumber done and we'll get up there now. Let's see if this is going to be too heavy. I would say that's, that is absolutely... That's crazy. That'll pick up those logs, but it won't. And I can't tip it out. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now, then? It won't let me tip it out because I don't have access, but I can't... I can't lift it. I'll kill that right up. Nope, that's not going to work. Well. What do I do here? I'm now even thinking the 1,500 litre bucket might be too much. Okay, well, it's going to take me a while then, so I'm going to have to use the 1,000. It's worth a try. It could have worked perfectly. I'm just trying to... This doesn't have a rear hitch. No, I checked that already, didn't I? So I can't put a weight on it. Oh, well. Old school, baby. Let's do it. I have got a lot of choice. At least this reaches. I was concerned when I bought the trailer. I thought, well, I don't think the older Volvo will reach, but that's not a problem. It's just going to take a bit of time. I think what I need to do is adjust where the trailer's positioned because I'm a lot of extra movement that I don't really need. Doing the same thing here. What is wrong with this? How weird. Just another 27 shovel loads to go.
I have taken the skid still over the back with the bucket. Um, I say with the bucket, I sold the bucket, took the skid still over the back. I've decided to make the mine, as I said, we are getting organised. That I was going to buy the Grimmer SL8022 Quantum that picks up from the ground. This will, be, will benefit anyone that comes to use the mine, obviously. If I raise that up, extend that a little bit, that'll give us space for anything that wants to go under it. We can always move it if we need to. Turn that on. So when that fills up again, it'll just be a case of coming back and it'll just be a lot easier for doing any ore work moving forward. It, it was, um, I wanted to do the first load, which I did with the, the two Volvos, then started to load with this. What did I get up to? 14,000 litres. And I thought, if I'm going to buy one anyway, I kind of cutting off my nose to spite my face. Just continuing without one to just then say in the next episode, look, I've decided to buy one. I thought, well, just, let's just buy one. Okay, this is starting to annoy me now. This doesn't make any sense. It'll go... Won't go forward now either. Now both of these are 82 Studio. Okay. So why would it not want to move? Won't reverse. It seemed that any slight incline whatsoever, whether it's up or down, and it just stops. I wonder if it's the tyre choice, but they should be better, shouldn't they? I wonder whether I need to change the tyres and give that a go. Right, downhill, reverse. Slightest bit of weight on it, doesn't want to know. How am I supposed to move that now? I wonder if a Land Rover will do it, that would be hilarious if it does. That was not cheap either. This was supposed to be quick and easy. I'm fine with this. Now the problem I've got is when I get to the yeah, land road it. The problem I've got is when I get to the iron furnace, I need to reverse all the way around because of the size of the trailer. I don't think I'm gonna be able to um drive in forwards. There we go. So we are full, piles pretty much gone. Just gonna do that. And I'll see you over there momentarily. Oh, you've got me good. <laughs> Getting to the point, I was going to swear, and I'm not going to swear. What is it getting stuck on? Do I need to change the tyre configuration? Does one of these axles lift? I'm now looking at that thinking, is that something I've missed? Let's go. Maybe it's because I haven't got weight over the fifth wheel. I wonder if it's that. If I get some weight over that fifth wheel, the tyres will have better traction, maybe?
I think we pretty much cleared out everything that was here, so yeah, we'll um, take this back to the main our main logging area once we're done. initial bit of wheel slip I think I will change the tyres on it and try that I need it to be manoeuvrable with all the different things I'm going to be pulling with it and the locations we're going to be going to I need I need it to be manoeuvrable so yeah we're going to have to do a bit of fiddling around I think Okay, <laughs> am I going to have to go and get the Land Rover? <laughs> I hope not. I'm just thinking as well, maybe I'm just trying to work out the best way of doing this. Because if this doesn't want to reverse, I'm in trouble. Can I drive down to this gap here? and watch it have a hiccup now. We need to put some more paving in there. Okay, we're reversing. That's gone better than I thought it would. Just need to get around the corner without hitting the building, that'd be great. Perfect, there we go, right. Well then, that's that bit done for the time being. I think we've pretty much, like I say, exhausted all the iron ore that's up at the mine at the moment. So maybe the next 24, 48 hours, but we've got a fair amount in here. How much was that saying? 32,000 litres. No, it's not 32, it's 35, isn't it? 35,000 litres. Because we bought 5,400 already. And then out here, we should get some metal appearing at some point fingers crossed so down to the vehicle store I need to go and get the Land Rover actually um, and then we'll whiz out with the skid still loader and our hydraulic breaker and I'll start doing some rocks um, next episode then sawmill will go up I'm sure it's 250,000 um, we need to cut down some trees get some lumber up there I need to check out the wood chipper with some dead wood because I took on the dead wood contract didn't I I did do that didn't I or did I dream it oh, we've got another tree transport one there 13 trees thank you very much we'll take that no rock removal there is a there are a couple of deadwood contracts I'll take one I've got the deadwood on my own plot but I want to see if it'll work from one of these so what I'm going to do is I'll cut down all the trees that need to be cut down. I will take one tree. I'm not going to do all of them. I'll cut one tree, take it up to the sawmill, stick it for the wood chipper. If we get a load of wood chips from it, I'll take the rest off the plot. If we don't, then I'll leave them all there. We'll just complete the contract. So I'll take that one on as well. And we should be good to go. So I will see you back down at the main vehicle store. And then we'll whiz out and... Uh, actually, where was I supposed to be doing it okay here so just over the bridge depends which way I come in from I'm coming from that road and swing off or come all the way out past the waffle hut 
and then go that way over the bridge to there. That's for logging. That's Deadwood. Okay. Awesome. I decided to bring the whole wagon train with me. It just made more sense. I've got the lorry in the front because I can go from one job to the next to the next then. Um, I just thought rather than going backwards and forwards with very different trailers. I have got the uh, the grab strapped down on the back of the trailer and I've got the hydraulic breaker on the skid steer loader so I can take them both with me there's plenty of room on the trailer for all of, you know, what I need to take so we'll do the rock breaking first I'll do the log delivery off camera and then we'll do the deadwood like I say I'll probably go out I'll cut them all down start the next episode we'll get one of the deadwood trees we'll take it up to the sawmill buy the sawmill and kind of go from there I think um, is it the next turning or this one I think it might be the next turning I need Stuck in. Oh, come on. Let me just check the map though. Oh, no, it's this turn. The other one goes under the bridge. Okay. Will it turn here? Come on. Just keep pulling. Just build up a bit of a head of steam. Sorry, I realise we're blocking the road here. I think as well we're at a point we could look at a log trailer. Like I say, I need I would need one with a rear trailer, it's preferably but nope. get on the grass, it gets stuck. Okay, we're pretty much in the center of the circle. So what we'll do now is switch to the rear trailer. Find the first flag. Driven past this about three times since it took on the contract, so I knew this one was here. Let's do that, that. Okay, first one done, and I think I've got eight more to do. What I'm thinking of doing that tipper I bought to do the ore, there's another one I was looking at, 
which I think I might get because it will put the weight over the um, the fifth wheel. Uh, that one there, the Lizard 9509, 34,350, nice and cheap, 48,000 litre capacity. So I might go with one of those. That should help. And that'll be like the well, kind of mine cart, I guess. So I might sell that other one. It's a bit of a loss of money, but the way I, I can offset it because I found the two um, uh, the two collectibles. So the uh, I think the conveyor belt up at the mine we took out that was forty grand. So that was one of those collectibles, pretty much. And we'll swap out the trailer. It was just. And then I'll try the tyres on the TLX and see if that makes a difference as well. We can, we've got to find a solution. I don't I don't really want to sell the TLX. We just bought the thing. But... Anyway, that's where I'm going to end the episode. Another episode of Trials and Tribulations. Hey, you wouldn't expect anything less, would you? We're still inside the circle. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.